Welcome to this week's Head Gardener's video log. As per usual this week I'll be showing you my top 5 plants of the week and also featured area of the week. From all of us at Trebu we'd like to say a big thank you to all those that came back to support the garden on its reopening and we'd like to welcome all those who are planning a visit this year back to Trebu. Thank you for your support. Rhododendron Crassum is probably my favourite of all the scented rhododendrons. It's good for late flowering colour and really does hit you with that scent as you walk along below. If you're looking for something a little unusual to grow in your garden, Isoplexus canariensis is worth the go. It's a member of the foxglove family and has these lovely orange flowers that flower for weeks and weeks and really do give good value for money. Rhododendron polyandrum is another scented wonder to watch out for as you walk the garden. You really can't miss it because the scent will knock you out as you walk by. Isoplexus sceptrum, another member of the foxglove family, is a real sight to behold. It has larger flowers than Isoplexus canariensis and really does create that dramatic effect. You can see just why Diorama pulcherimum gets the common name Angel's Fishing Rod. These beautiful pink flowers stand off these tall flower spikes. My featured area this week is the Acer plantation around Alice's seat. It has a lovely mix of colour at this time of year with the foliage on the Acers and really does change through the seasons when you get the autumn tints and then the lovely coloured stems. There's also a good mix of scented plants here, which really does add to the mix.